group of motorcyclists are spreading joy to children in need this holiday season through the 38th annual Brightside Toy Run. 22 News reporter Julia O'Keefe has how this event is providing hope for the holidays. Every year we're able to bring joy and laughter and smiles to many families. Sunday, motorcyclists gathered at the Memorial Drive Walmart in Chicopee and drove to Mercy Medical Center in Springfield for Brightside's Hope for the Holidays toy run. The run comes at the end of a three day long toy drive for Brightside families and children. The entry fee for each rider was a new toy and toys collected will go to Brightside children and also those supported by Lorraine Soup Kitchen in Chicopee and the Center for Human Development. Event organizer and president of Hope for the Holidays, Bruce Rivest, started Hope for the Holidays to give back to low-income agencies who help communities in need. And Brightside holds a special place in his heart. Being adopted from them in 1970, I thought it was important to give them a call and see if we could do something for them. And we've had a relationship for the last 12 years. His team brought in hundreds of bikers, each with a toy and some with generous monetary donations to grant a community child's holiday wish. This effort helps Brightside continue to make a difference in families' lives. Brightside has been operating for over 150 years, and events like this give life to the work that we do every day. That work is centered around Brightside's in-home therapy program, aimed at helping families recover in whatever way they need so they can thrive. We help them navigate the educational system, um, the behavioral health system, and we help them, you know, um, be together and, and, and form a bond that is forever. And they are still collecting unwrapped toys, gift cards or monetary donations. Rivis said you can visit their Facebook page, message them, and they will come pick up donations themselves so that Brightside can bring each child hope for the holidays. Working for you, Julia O'Keefe, 22 News.